So if you thought that you've seen the last of Donald Trump, think again. He may have canceled his blog, but uh, according to him, he will be president again very soon. He will be reinstated as president as early as August, according to him. I'm not necessarily sure what he's basing this on. Uh, nonetheless, I am very incredibly intrigued by this story. And uh, Maggie Haberman of the New York Times is going to explain how some close Trump associates are being told by him that he does believe that he will be the president again very soon. Take a look. New York Times, Maggie Haberman writes, quote, Trump has been telling a number of people he's in contact with that he expects he'll get reinstated by August. New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman joins us now. She's a Washington correspondent for The Times and a CNN political analyst. Maggie, I have to say, when you wrote that, my eyes popped. I, I was stunned. The former president is telling people he expects to be reinstated by August. What's going on here? So, John, what he's doing is echoing things that are being said by Sidney Powell, who was his lawyer, although, you know, she he distanced himself from her at certain points uh, over the final months of the administration, but she was helping advise him on these efforts to overturn the election last year. This is being said uh, by Mike Lindell, the CEO of MyPillow, who has been pushing this for some time. He's echoing what they're saying. The difference between them saying it and Donald Trump saying it is one is the former president, one is a possible future party nominee, even, even given all of his legal troubles. If he ran for president again, Again, uh, he would still have a very good shot at the nomination. And this is something that some of his supporters will hear and take seriously when he says it. There is no legal mechanism by which this can happen. There are people who are telling him things are possible that are not possible, which is exactly what we saw happen after the November 3rd election last year, which was all the lead up to January 6th, as we know, and what we saw in the attack on the Capitol. And so there is a there is a, a dangerous component about this conversation that's going on. And I think one thing that is jarring about our current news environment, John, is that there is a, a separation between what uh, literally, and it, the, the, this sort of choose your own adventure of news has gotten worse progressively over time. Democrats who support Joe Biden don't want to hear anything about Donald Trump. And because Donald Trump is not on Twitter anymore, they think, therefore, he doesn't really exist, except he does really exist strongly in this right wing ecosystem. It is true he's not on Twitter. It's true he's not on Facebook. He can't direct followers the same way he did. He's also going to start appearing publicly again. And so the public really needs to be aware this is something that he has been saying. OK, so that's probably as much as we need from that interview. Um, there's discussion online about whether or not Trump is just saying this because he wants to raise money for his super PAC and that this is all part of a grift and he's scamming his supporters. I think that Trump is saying this because he actually believes that he will be reinstated. And in the event he's not reinstated, which is at 100%, he's going to then say, well, you know, I was supposed to be reinstated, but X happened and then Y happened and then that led to Z and that's why I wasn't reinstated, but I actually was going to be reinstated But the fake news of the Democratic Party elites. They stopped me from being reinstated. Like this is someone who is deeply unwell who is genuinely delusional. And if you think he's that intelligent to like play 3D chess and say these things deliberately as part of a grift, I just don't buy it. I think that he's saying that he's going to be reinstated because he actually has convinced himself that he will be reinstated because he just has never come to terms with the fact that he lost the election. Now, I will say this again. I've said this before, but I think it really is worth noting again. It is extremely cruel for his family members to just let him bask in all of these delusions why are you not intervening why are you not explaining to him that he lost he very clearly doesn't have the mental capacity to understand what happened why aren't you explaining this to him now i'm not diagnosing donald trump i'm not saying that he has dementia but when my dad had dementia towards the last stages of his life we would have to explain to him very clearly and slowly why the things that he believed and saw were not actually real. So he believed that me and my mom were kidnapped. And he, this was when he was being transported from a hospital to a long-term care facility. And in the car, like during the car ride, he was screaming, he was hysterical because he thought that kidnappers took me and my mom and he was freaking out. And my mom actually had to like go and calm him down and explain to him, I'm here, what you're, what you're envisioning is not real. You may, you know, you made this up in your head. I know that those feelings are real, but thankfully we're we're safe, we're fine. And he believed it was real. So we had to convince him that 
what he was seeing wasn't real. And that's that's really difficult to do for a loved one that you care about. But the fact that Trump's family hasn't intervened and at least tried to make an attempt to rein him in from all of these delusions that he's experiencing, that's just like you're cruel. You're a terrible son. You're a terrible daughter. You're a terrible wife. If you're not trying to get him to live in reality, like how could you not want to do that? Like for my dad, I try to go out of my way, but Trump's family, they just, they don't give a shit. He's like as delusional as you can possibly be talking about how he's going to be reinstated. And they're just like, oh yeah, dad, I believe that. What? Because they're afraid of him. They don't want to challenge their dad because he has a lot of money and power. And they're afraid that, you know, when he dies, they'll be cut out of the, uh, the will. I don't know what it is, but they're really shitty people. Like, I don't give a shit about Donald Trump. Let him suffer. That's my opinion. But if you're his family member, you should be trying to talk him out of this. Let him know that he's not going to be president. It's over. Sure, he can run again in 2024 if he wants to, but he's not all there and he shouldn't. But they don't care. They're just letting him be completely delusional and off his fucking rocker. And it's insane to me. So that's what I'll say about this. The fact that he's saying this, I don't believe this is part of a grift. You could support the Humanist Report at Patreon dot com slash humanist report but trust me i'd have way more supporters on patreon if that was my podcast sad <laughs> <laughs>